All right, guys, this is an 06 F-150. I already programmed a new Cardone PCM. Um, instead of waiting for the 10, 10 minute uh, security access wait to get into the PATS uh, system, we are gonna try the Autel 508. See if we can bypass this uh, 10 minutes, get it done faster. So let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to start off by putting key into the ignition. These are what these keys look like, pretty flat, not much to it. Turn the radio off. Alright, so we're going to identify the vehicle first using the auto VIN, auto detect. This Cardone PCM, if it works, should already have the VIN inside of it. I don't really like using Cardone, but it wasn't my choice. All right, there's the VIN, it popped up, good, hit OK. And we have a Ford F-150-06. Bear with me, I can't really see the screen too well, so that's a 04 to 08 we wanna select here. Blade key, as you can see. Okay. Here's our vehicle. We're going to hit the yes button. Keep proceeding. And really fast for this uh, PATS security system. Uh, I believe the PATS module or security system is located inside the PCM. If it is not and you have a Ford and let's say you replace the PCM but the security system is somewhere maybe in the BCM for instance or behind the dash, all you would need is a parameter reset. Being that it's inside the PCM, which I believe we will have to program two good keys. So mobilizer system scan, we want to skip over that. That's that's a cool function right there, but we can just go to hop function. Hit that. So we don't want to add a key, we want to all keys lost. Okay. So function tips, enter system and security access. This will normally take 10 minutes to get into the security system with IDS. Now let's see if we can do this here. All keys will be erased, yes. Turn the ignition to the on position, it's already on. Yes. Success, step one. Success, step two. Three to 10 minutes, there it is success. So we just bypassed all that stuff. Now I was messing around with these keys before, that's where we do have one key programmed already, and the reason why I have to come back to this job is because the ILCO, I-L-C-O, aftermarket key, would not program um, using the all keys lost function. So whenever you have to replace a PCM on these, and you have to program two keys, use factory keys. Don't use this cheap junk because it won't work. Learn keys, one. Alright, so we're going to hit OK. Erasing keys. Erasing fail. See, this is a problem, I believe, with the Cardone, because we will eight. We we were able to program these two keys with uh, the old PCM, and the calibration, from what I understand, went okay inside the Cardone using the PMI installation. So my next step is to probably go through as-built data, reprogram the Cardone using as-built, and if it still don't work from that point on, we have a bad module. So I'll get back to you. Alright guys, so I'm going to try to flash this Cardone PCM that we're having issues with programming the keys to using as-built instead of the PMI process. I use the PMI process because this module came blank. So we want to identify this PCM that's in it. We're going to use the tier tag, PCE1. We're doing this because I left the key off of the ignition. I don't want to identify the PCM that's in there. So I left the key off once again to trick the IDS into thinking this computer is blank. There's many procedures out there on YouTube of how to do this, so I'm just going to show you the second half at least. Alright, that's our vehicle, 3 valve, 5-4, network tech gathering data. Oh boy. 
Alright, so we want to go to module programming. Asbel instrument cluster. Look at module installation. switch the on position. This new ignition is still off so we're going to enter our VIN number. Put our VIN in for the second time. We're going to hit the yes. Install new module and vehicle. It's already in there. Okay. Path system, it is equipped with paths. Okay, ignition on. Now we turn our ignition on here. Ignition off. Turned our ignition off. Turn it on. Erase procedure, so now we're gonna start programming. We do have a maintainer on this of 13.4 volts. Alright, I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm sorry I couldn't show you that, but I was losing my patience with this. So we weren't able to program both of the keys with the Altel, with this Cardone module we did the PMI installation on. We were able to do them both with the original module. Um, so I went back in with the Cardone, and I left the key off and I did a as built going into as built data uh, I programmed it and I went inside the patch system with the IDS and I was able to program both of the keys and uh, I did have to go through some of the programmable parameters like tire size, axle ratio, all that stuff um, but we have the vehicle running now and uh, I think this one is going to be good. That is a Cardone. We usually, I've heard so many bad things about these, um, but it is what it is, man. They're, try not to buy them, but in this case, I guess it worked out. And uh, that's about it.